Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I love skincare. I'm always interested and fascinated about all the different products that come out. There's so many brands out there, so it's very, very difficult to decide which one to use. I have a closet full of skincare products, but ultimately I like to try them for at least two weeks to see if they're actually for me or not. Skincare products, I go back and forth with like Asian products and American products, but I usually tend to continue leaning more towards the Asian products just because you watch all those k-dramas and you just want to have those super plump and youthful skin when they're 40 50 60 you can't even tell that they're that age so it's definitely something that just makes you drawn towards their products more whether they actually work or not that's a different question. Unfortunately, the place that I was getting my skincare from, which is Face Shop, actually closed all their brick and mortar locations. So I wasn't able to actually go in and physically test all the products anymore like I usually could. You are able to still buy them online, but it's just not the same. I love shopping online, but when it comes to skincare, I really like to see it first, feel the texture and everything. Although Face Shop never actually had a return policy, everything was final sale, just buying it online Line. it's a little bit risky if you're not able to test it especially if you have really sensitive skin and you test it and you end up breaking out you don't want to buy that and try that on your face and have to pay for shipping for the return buying in store it comes with perks you get a bunch of samples and sometimes you get goodies depending if you buy the certain dollar amount but with online you get nothing so that night I went hunting for where I could buy more Korean products of course everyone knows Sephora so that's where I ended up going so when i was searching online of course glow recipe and laneige popped up they're both super hyped up by social media they're both used by celebrities but for some reason i just had like a gut feeling to get laneige over glow i felt like glow recipe was more of a novelty rather than it actually being effective long term even going into the store and testing it and asking the associates there you know they didn't specifically say that it wasn't long term but they never actually answered my question when I said I needed a long-term solution. I really love the packaging of Glow Recipe and to be honest that is a really bad thing that I do where I really try to not judge the product by its packaging but Glow Recipe has super cute packaging. That was kind of why I was leaning more towards it. Although Laneige has really nice packaging as well especially their lip mask. They're really really cute. I decided to get Laneige instead and so far I'm pretty happy with it. Let's take a closer look at them. This is the Laneige water bank blue hyaluronic cleansing foam i have both dry and oily skin so this is great for me it's a good wake me up cleanser and makes my skin feel super smooth afterwards i usually use gel cleansers but with just a touch of water this cleanser gets super foamy stays super smooth and leaves your skin feeling super clean and refreshed this is the laneige water bank blue hyaluronic gentle pha exfoliating toner pha works to gently exfoliate while blue hyaluronic acid which is fermented with deep sea algae and a 10 step microfiltration process immediately absorbs for intense hydration i find this thicker than other toners but still lightweight leaving my skin hydrated and refreshed This is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. It contains peptides which help improve the look of the skin's firmness and green tea enzymes which gently exfoliate the skin for a smoother look. The consistency of this is very nice and it's not as sticky as others can get. This is the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer for Moisture Barrier Repair. It visibly firms your skin and reinforces your moisture barrier with Peptopanthenol Complex and Squalane for a healthy, resilient look. This is a cream moisturizer, but it's not as thick as you think it would be. My skin just slurps it right up, and I really enjoy using this during my nightly skin routine. This is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask with Squalane. It is formulated with a probiotic-derived complex that strengthens the skin moisture barrier while visibly boosting the look of skin's brightness and clarity. This lightweight sleeping mask feels refreshing and cooling and absorbs into my skin really quickly. The consistency is really nice on the skin which allows me to sleep comfortably and not feel like there's anything on my face.
This is the Laneige Bouncy and Firm Radiance Boosting Sleeping Mask. It is formulated with a peony and collagen complex to revitalize invisibly firm, while hydromel glow capsules mimic skin's lipid to protect the moisture barrier and nurture overnight. Over time, it helps visibly reduce fine lines and wrinkles and improves radiance. The consistency of this is different than the water sleeping mask. It's a bit thicker and goopier because of the glow capsules, but they're so tiny and lightweight it doesn't feel like anything's on your skin. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask Intense Hydration with Vitamin C, and this is the cotton candy flavor. It contains berry fruit complex, coconut oil, shea butter, and murumuru seed butter, which all help to nourish and deliver lasting moisture while you sleep. Guys, the smell of this is amazing and I want to eat it. <laughs> Keep in mind that it is sticky like a lip gloss and a little goes a long way. I've been using these for about two weeks now. So far, to be honest, I haven't seen a huge difference or improvement. I do really like the textures of them and I am happy with the product, but in terms of effectiveness, I think I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Most products, usually you'll see a difference within at least a month or two months, but the fact that these are all hydrating products, you are supposed to have seen improvement after one use or a week. You should be able to see like a better glow and a bit more plumpness to your skin because of all the hydrating. Definitely the sleeping masks and the lip masks, you're supposed to see improvement right away. So the following morning, I personally have not seen any difference in plumpness. It does feel hydrated, of course, but I wouldn't say it's extremely hydrating more so than like a regular moisturizer when I do my skincare routine. Because my skin is so dry, I wanted to really test the limits on how good of results I would see. I was using these every day. There is nothing wrong with that. It's not going to harm your skin by using it every day other than it's just going to waste more product for you and you're going to have to buy it again. But because I wasn't really seeing a huge difference where using it every day or every other day, I just use it like every two, three days now. It just feels nice. It is a little bit like cooling. So if you like that before you go to sleep, then definitely this is a really good product. I don't know, maybe I'm just not using enough, but I feel like I'm using a lot. Like it feels like I'm putting three layers on. My skin completely slurped this up. In the morning, there is nothing to wipe off. <laughs> I can feel the product disappearing into my skin after five minutes after 10 minutes I kind of dab it to see how much product is left. My skin literally drinks it up like it hasn't had water for like a week <laughs> It also is like a mindset thing where, you know, it tells you it's a sleeping mask and that it's supposed to hydrate your skin overnight. So in the morning, you tell yourself like, oh, I'm going to have super good baby bum skin on my face. The reality is that wasn't the case for me. Maybe it is for you guys. So let me know in the comments below how it worked out for you. As for the lip mask, I, again, don't see any difference than using my CoverGirl Hyaluronic Lip Balm. I feel like the result is the same. But if you are willing to pay the price, definitely get it because it smells amazing. But if you don't really have issues with your lips, like cracking or super dryness, then I would just recommend like a really good lip balm to use. Chances are, if you are sleeping and you move around, it'll probably wipe off anyway. The Water Bank Cream Moisturizer, I really like. I've used almost all of it compared to all the other products so I'm gonna have to replace this before I get anything else but it's also because I put a lot of this on just because like I said my skin can get very very dry it's not necessarily that you use more it's gonna work faster but I just feel like you need a little bit more product when you're putting this on especially if you're going to use like a facial machine afterwards or a gua sha or something that you're going to use on your skin after your skincare routine. Another thing I wanted to mention is that these three products here have a scent. It's like a perfumey scent. So if you guys are sensitive and you don't like that kind of smell in your product, you might not like them. At first, it is quite strong, but because I've been using it for about two weeks, I've kind of gotten used to it. It's a nice smell, guys, don't get me wrong, but some people just like fragrance-free completely in their products. So if you guys guys are like that, I would definitely head into a Sephora first and check it out. You can even ask them for 
more samples to see if you like them or not before you actually buy it. They also have a really good return policy that if it's barely used, you can definitely return it as well. Or if you have a reaction, I'm sure they'll let you return that too. It just has to be within like a certain time frame. This is a PHA exfoliating toner. It is really gentle on the skin. It contains bigger molecular sizes, so it doesn't penetrate the skin as easily as AHA. There's a couple different skin acids. There's AHA, BHA, and PHA. AHA and PHA are more or less the same, but AHA penetrates your skin at a deeper level, so it's meant for more dry and mature skin, while PHA penetrates slower, therefore it's more for sensitive skin. If you guys are very sensitive, sensitive and you do have AHA acids in your skincare, I would definitely do like a test patch just to see if you don't get any reaction because it can make you sensitive to sun. And if you guys don't have a reaction, I would start off by using it at nighttime and then gradually using it every other day and then slowly every day. Technically, all the acids should be able to be used twice daily. AHA and PHA are both water soluble and they're both meant to exfoliate the skin all while maintaining the hydration of the skin's moisture barrier. They're both catered more for like anti-aging, fine lines and wrinkles, while BHA is catered more for people focusing on pores, blackheads, and sebum. AHA is more for dry and mature skin, while PHA is more for sensitive skin. Because the PHA penetrates the skin at a slower pace, it causes less risk of any irritation to your skin. But even then, I would definitely still do a test patch, just like I mentioned about the AHA, and just make sure that that it is a product that is going to be okay for your skin, especially when you're using these kind of things for your face. I use this at nighttime along with the other Laneige skincare products. The only Laneige product I use in the day is the facial cleanser, just because I do find that it is a really nice foaming cleanser and it really wakes you up in the morning compared to the other cleansers that I currently have. Overall, I do really enjoy this water bank line. It's really nice to have. Hopefully, I'll be able to see more results in a couple more weeks. Let me know if you guys like this video and if you guys have tried these products, which one is your favorite? 